new year if you're just tuning in. Now, this particular segment I've been looking forward to. Clutter can, of course, make your space look really, oh, just <laughs> unapproachable and make you feel very, very uncomfortable. But did you know that there are different types of clutter in your life? Not just the clutter you see around you. Janet Adetu is back <laughs> and she is our in-house etiquette expert. I like to call <laughs> you that you, though. Thank you, I've got to start by saying Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year to you too. Thank you so much. You look amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So wow. decluttering. Yes, it's the new year. And honestly speaking, it is time for us to declutter. If you want to start the new year off on a good note, mm -hmm. you really need to start with where am I today? And where do I really want to go? Okay. So I'm going to say start by decluttering your goals. Okay. So some of us walk into the new year with a whole lot of goals mm -hmm. and we don't prune them down. And it's time for you to now say, what are the most important goals in my life? And pick five, even take the top three of that five okay. and say, these are the most important goals or priorities for me mm -hmm. this year that I really want to uh, you know, achieve. So declutter your goals, that means reduce them down to something that is, is meaningful, something that's very realistic, okay. you know? So, um, so now mm. we're decluttering uh, our mindset, our yes, goals. Yes, our everything. mindset, yes. What most people think of decluttering as yes. a physical thing. Absolutely. But it is still part of what we're doing yep. this morning, right? So that is mm. it. Mm. So then even once you've done that, you know your goals, you've mm. decluttered them, mm. meaning that you've pruned them down to yeah. the most important ones. I would say you declutter your home. Okay. First of all, okay. that means before you step out, before you go to the office, before you go to your business, start from your home. There are some areas in your house that you're probably thinking for a long time. If you had the time, mm. you would clean this out, cl yeah. clean this wardrobe out, for instance. Take out some of those old clothes, those uh, obsolete clothes, those ones that you're not using anymore or that you used five years ago. Take Prune that wardrobe down to the ones that you really need. Mm. Declutter your wardrobe, mm. declutter your bedroom space. Mm. You know, mm. There's some things that are just lying about old papers, newspapers, you know, even Christmas cards that you have now, they're all over the place. Declutter your room and give your mind some free space to be able to think, okay. all right? And even in, as we say, declutter your home, declutter your living space, the living room, and by decluttering, it might even mean renovating, okay. touching up, painting some places, you know, shifting your furniture around, you know, declutter your kitchen, you know, um, that's the, the kitchen space. is a big very one. important that's place. That's a big one. Absolutely. For me. I'm thinking about some <laughs> old kitchen utensils I bought five years ago that I've just right. never used. Never used. A not cracker or something. Yes. Or it's just funny, funny things I have around. And you know, sometimes you throw things in the cupboard, you know, because people can't see them. By the time you open the cupboard and you say, oh my gosh, What's all this mess going on here? You need to declutter these things, you know. And I'm saying even when you think of your home, your living space, don't forget to declutter um, all the rooms and your children's rooms. Oh, Take out some old, old clothes that they're not wearing anymore. What's old to you is new to someone else, so probably give them out. Mm. You know, you might want to just rejuvenate some areas, change some colors around your house, you know, paint some walls, add some cushions, just to vibrate it. Then you want to declutter mm. your office. Hmm. your office space. Some of us left our offices end of 2018 yeah. with stuff all over the place, in the cupboards, in the drawers. Mm. You ought to have decluttered at the end of the year before you come back. But if you haven't done that, be, it's, not, it's, not a, it's not a problem. Okay, so, so I'm, I'm thinking about the process. So these, we've gone through our house, our, our space, yes. our mind one by one. But what is it that we actually mean by decluttering? So I know that um, you know, tidying up yes. is like cleaning. Yes. You know, that's yes. cleaning your space. But yes. what is it to actually De declutter? To declutter is to get old things out of the way and leave room for new things and create new opportunities. Okay. So let's say our desk, for instance, in the office. We have a whole lot of piles of files that were old. We're not going to use them this year. Mm -hmm. So let's take them away, put them somewhere where if we need to reference them, we can go back to them. Okay. Take out old papers, mm -hmm. clean up our desks. It is, it is an exercise of tidying up, actually. Mm -hmm. but leave giving room for new things, okay. giving you space for opportunity and taking away those old things that you're not going to use anymore. Okay. So I'm talking about in your office, your office itself, or maybe you have a cubicle, your desk, prune it down and get ready because if you're covered with clutter in the office, you can't think about new opportunities and you can't think out of the box. So I would say when you get to your office, the first day of your 
you know, of work officially, just declutter it. Take out all those things that you know you're not going to use anymore or the things that you don't need immediately and leave space for it. I'm also saying declutter your car. Mm. <laughs> that one is your a big car one. has a lot of stuff in it that you really don't need and you've been piling them up check your boot for instance all sorts of things in that boot yeah. in, you know in your in, in the your little glove your glove box yeah, mm -hmm. yeah you know you really need to make sure that you take out things that you don't need old newspapers mm -hmm. files and things in, in about 45 them. seconds can we talk about the advantage of decluttering uh, in terms of uh, well, in, in reference to the disadvantages of not Yeah, honestly speaking, mm -hmm. if you don't declutter, you are piling up junk. And sometimes you could call that hoarding. Okay. You know, when you keep on piling up old things, three years, uh, things of three years ago are still in your desk, still in your home, still around about the place that you actually don't need. And it's very important you declutter because you, you're just going to compound things for yourself. And the act of hoarding, which means piling up things that you really don't need, yeah. is just going to create an act of confusion for you. Okay. So it's very important that you take things out. This is a new year, new goals, new opportunities, new things, okay. new beginnings. That's the whole idea. Amen to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so let's get decluttering. Yes, now, we still have absolutely. a few hours uh, free time in this amazing holiday. Yes. It's a new year. Maybe you should take a, an hour yeah. or two to declutter. Absolutely. Very Thank important. You, You're most welcome. Thank you for coming Thank to you. the studio once again. Okay.